Well, hello there, it's Heather, your certified high performance coach. What are the thing, or maybe even things that are holding you back and preventing you from just being more connected with yourself, being more present with who you are and the direction that you're going in life? Do you ever get stuck with something that happened in the past? Maybe a hurt that you experienced, a mistake you made, even a failure you had. And I'm not talking about trauma. Trauma is a whole different kettle of fish. While traumas can leave you feeling stuck in your past and maybe even preventing you from moving forward, it's just a different methodology and even some therapies that would have to take place in order for you to move past that and into a place of healing. And so it's different from what we're going to be talking about today. The challenge is when we're feeling stuck in our past, it's almost like we're feeling held hostage by the things that we haven't healed yet and haven't moved forward from. And then when we're stuck over there, we're missing everything that's happening in our present life. And that, of course, then affects our future life. You can see how this is a bit of a vicious cycle. So what's something you can do to just be more connected with yourself? Great question. I'm glad you asked. Be more of an observer in your own life. Just by being more of an observer, you can be more connected with yourself. And you can do that by asking yourself three questions. Who, how, and where? Let's start with the first one, who you are, meaning all the things that you value, you cherish, your personality traits, your culture, your experiences, things that you've gone through that have made up who you are today. You're like a unique thumbprint. Everyone is different and everyone is unique because we all have different experiences and backgrounds. You see, our past doesn't define us, but it doesn't form our present and future self. So we can use that information in a productive way. The next one is how are you behaving? Meaning, are you behaving in a way that is in congruence with who you are and what you believe in? If someone was looking at your behavior from an outside perspective, would it be obvious that you were living in alignment with the essence of who you are? And the last one is where are we headed in life? Are you going in a direction that is healthy and meaningful and bringing out the best of who you are? So if we look through the lenses of the observer, who we are, how we're behaving and where we're headed in life. And if we notice that our past self is holding us back so much that it's not allowing us to live in our full truth, then you can use these questions, this framework to pull that past self into the future, into the present moment. And that is how you be more connected with yourself. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson from Brendan Burchard's High Performance Coaching. If this is something that landed with you and you're hungry for some more personal growth opportunities, I've got a free and virtual opportunity coming up. It's a workshop called Recharge, Refocus, Renew, and it's coming up on Monday, February 26th from 11 to 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is just go to wellnessrecreation360.com forward slash workshops. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.